If you're like me, you love video games. And if you're even more like me, you want to make video games too. But making video games is an arduous task that many will quit even before they get started. While the amount of stuff that goes into making games hasn't changed, our ability to code them has gotten a major upgrade over the past few months. ChatGPT, a conversational AI, has been making the rounds and breaking headlines for its ability to draft emails, type articles, give logical advice, and write game code. This is something I've been wanting to use as much as I can when making games in Unity and Roblox. While I can say it has tremendously sped up my development time, you do have to be incredibly careful with it, as it is not always accurate. In this video, I'm going to show you how I use ChatGPT to help me code a game in Roblox. I'll start with a small idea of what I'm making, and through a conversation with ChatGPT, we will make a plan and start generating code to use in our game. So, to get started, let's tell the AI that we want to make a simulator game in Roblox. ChatGPT responded with a step-by-step -step plan that will help us plan out and create our game. Nice, we can use this as sort of a checklist going forward. While ChatGPT was generating the answer, I came up with the idea that our simulator game would be about the player using an AI in their house to passively make money. ChatGPT seemed to enjoy this concept and started to give me ideas on game mechanics and things I can add to make my game more engaging. After a small back and forth talking about what kinds of mechanics I would add and how they would work, I asked ChatGPT to create a script that would handle the player's data and their progress in the game. It quite confidently came up with a script that didn't work, but looked promising. I'd come back and edit that later. Next, I figured that in simulator games, the player has their own plot, so I needed to make a system to spawn a house on a plot for each player which ChatGPT was able to code for me. Being a developer, I was able to see some of the errors with the script before I ever added it to my game. So I asked ChatGPT to edit its code to fix some of the errors. While it was still not 100% accurate, it got the script much closer to what I needed. And with some small adjustments, I was able to make the plot spawn in for each player. Now I wanted to animate the spawning in of the parts for the house. ChatGPT excelled at creating this code, using the tween service and creating a loop to loop through all of the parts in the house, animating each one in individually. This was pretty cool, but how would the player know which house was theirs? Teleport them to it, of course. I had ChatGPT teleport the player to the doormat of their house. And then this is where I did something interesting. I actually took the entire code I've written so far and pasted it into ChatGPT. Then I asked if it could make the animations asynchronous. And it obliged. It created this cool coroutine wrap function that I didn't even know existed. Now that we have a plot for the player, we actually need our simulator to work. So I asked ChatGPT to make a script that increased the amount of cash on the computer over time. And voila, it spit a bunch of code out. But it was still pretty trash. But it got us most of the way, so that counts for something. And since AI can't build just yet, I built a computer, a button, and made sure the scripts reference these parts correctly. And to finish off our mechanics, I added similar logic for upgrading the amount you earn and the speed it collects on the computer. And boom, there you have it. I created a simulator game in Roblox using ChatGPT to write around 95% of the code. ChatGPT is an insanely useful tool, but often it makes mistakes. This makes it not as useful for novice developers, as they might not be able to spot the errors in the code. But ChatGPT does comment all of its code and uses simple naming conventions that make it easier to spot these errors. While I don't think AI will be replacing game developers soon, I highly recommend everybody check it out and see what it can help you do.